Hey guys, we are back with a new video. Today we will talk about 10 inventions that would have changed the world, but unfortunately they flopped. Before we begin, subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press that bell icon to never miss a single update. On number 10 was Laserdisc. Laserdisc was the first commercial optical storage medium sold and marketed in the United States in 1978. Although in Laserdisc, the format was capable of offering higher quality video and audio than the discs present at that time. But the Laserdisc never managed to gain widespread use, largely due to its high costs and inability to record TV programs. It was not popular format in Europe and Australia when it first released but eventually gained traction in these regions to become popular only in 1990. Laserdisc's only problem was that it costed too much than its rival discs. At that time, a single Laserdisc was retailing at a whopping $1500 or even more, with movies costing only up to $80. It didn't make a dent in the market widely because of its costs. However, it was widely popular in Southeast Asia, especially in Hong Kong. Where it wasn't discontinued until 2009, the time when Laserdisc had died long, long ago in the other parts of the world. On number 9 is Nokia Engage. Back when standard cell phones were only used to make calls, the Nokia was the world's most forward thinking brand. The phone was mainly ahead of its time. It was the world's first gaming phone. Nokia Engage was announced on 4th November 2002. It shortly got the hype, but the Nokia Engage failed to engage anybody. Detailing at around $300, the handheld console's awkward shape, clunky buttons, small screen, and questionable collection of games left the users hugely unexcited. On number 8 is Hoverboard. A hoverboard is a self-balancing personal transporter consisting of two motorized wheels. The rider controls the speed by leaning forwards or backwards and direction of travel by twisting the pads. There are many instances of units catching fire, with claims that they were responsible for numerous residential fires between 2015 and 2016. In United Kingdom, authorities expressed concerns with the boards regarding possible faulty wiring. Many airlines banned the transportation of boards both as stored or carry on luggage. The United States Consumer Products Safety Commission launched an investigation into the safety of the device in 2015 and determined that the lithium-ion batteries present in the hoverboards were overheating and catching fire. In July 2016, the Commission ordered the recall of over 5 lakh units. In January 2016, the government issued a joint advisory cautioning the public against buying hoverboards due to injuries. The ban was imposed as there were several houses that caught fire due to these devices. On number 7 is smartwatch. It works for a phone, so why not a watch? Smart tech is increasingly everywhere, but the smartwatch has continuously struggled to catch on. Depending on your device, these things can play music, send email, hold calls, take photos, load maps, browse social media, and tell the time. It's a personal organizer, data analyzer, mini compass, and a health monitor. But why do you need all of that on your wrist when you have it in your pocket? And do you even watch so much information poking out from your shirt sleeves? No matter the hype, but smartwatches have always failed to make a dent because we don't need a second device which does the same or even less than our primary device, which we call a smartphone. Music. Number 6 is Samsung Galaxy Note 7. Released in 2016, the same year as Apple's consistent but relatively uninspiring iPhone 7, the Galaxy Note 7 could have been Samsung's game changer. Instead, it almost blew Apple's biggest competitor entirely. A manufacturing defect in Note 7's battery led to multiple reports of phones overheating and in some cases catching fire. 
Samsung was forced in a series of international recalls, costing an estimated $17 billion of loss and making serious damage on the company's reputation. Before the phone used to catch fire, some critics had labeled the phone as a game changer, but it was quickly game over. Samsung had hoped for the hot sales, just not like this. On number 5 is Nintendo Wii. It's a gaming industry juggernaut. Since the release of Nintendo Entertainment System in 1983, Nintendo has enjoyed a firm hold on its own little corner of the gaming market. The Japanese video game company continued to impress both gamers and critics. With the launch of the control-based Wii in 2006, Nintendo revolutionized gaming once again. Despite promising first impressions, crystal clear HD graphics, and a dedicated fan base, the system just never opted the way that Nintendo's previous efforts did. But the glory was short-lived, and the console eventually succumbed to PlayStation and Xbox, and the little white box disappeared from our living world. On number 4 is Segway. Invented in 2001, some predicted the Segway will become the world's favorite mode of transportation. But most buyers couldn't justify a cost of $7,000, given that there existed zero infrastructure for Segway, and confusion remained over its legal limits. Some countries brought them from roads, others said no to sidewalks, and some banned them altogether. The hype it created quickly came down, and Segway turned from new age innovation to novelty item. Music. On number 3 is Windows Vista. Following the massively successful Windows XP, this was set up to improve Microsoft's security and it did for everything else for about the ill-fated Microsoft operating system left the users scratching their head and pulling their hair out. Increased hardware requirements meant many PCs couldn't update, despite Microsoft assurances that they could. While licensing issues and an avalanche of user prompts kept a growing frustration, in 2009 when Windows 7 came to kill it off, optimistic analysts argued that Vista had been a success. Acquiring 400 million users and becoming the second most widely used system on the net. The most popular OS however was XP, retaining millions more who simply refused to upgrade. On number 2 comes 3D TV. Around the release of James Cameron's Avatar in 2009, 3D TV sparked another dimension of anticipation. After years of success, it seemed that we will finally watch every TV show and program in 3D. During the initial rush, soccer matches, golf tournaments, political events, and major TV releases came with 3D capability. But the release of 4K screens, and curved displays meant that 3D glasses seemed already outdated by 2017. The likes of Samsung, Sony, and LG had all dropped 3D technology. After a sensational rise, it was a spectacular fall. On number 1 comes Google Glass. Initially, Google Glass was a major talking point, not only among nerds who had to have the latest gadgets but also among businessmen and even designers and fashionists. Everyone wanted to try it out. Time magazine named it the best invention of the year. Other magazines wrote big features about it. It used to appear on TV shows. It also made appearance to 2012 New York Fashion Week. But it didn't take long for the novelty to wear off. Once Glass was in hands of media and journalists, its many flaws such as terrible battery life and various bugs were suddenly brought to light. Privacy concerns were also raised, thanks to the Glass's ability to record videos without anyone but its owner knowing about it. The big hit didn't come until early 2014, when a scandal hit the Google X Lab. However, Google hasn't killed it all together. There is a team working on it and they are redesigning it from scratch. According to the sources, the plan is to bring it back but not until it's a finished product that's ready for consumers. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you liked the video. It takes a lot of hard work to create a video like this.
so guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it press that red button and click on that bell like thing to get more videos like this in future